Andy, it's .NET Dave. I'm uh, leaving San Diego, it's around 5.45 in the morning, leaving for so, so, uh, Silicon Valley Code Camp. I've uh, wanting to, been going at this Code Camp for a long time. Uh, this is its fourth year. Uh, this is the first time I not only get to go, but I get to speak um, some of my uh, normal Code Camp sessions. So, really looking forward to it. GPS says I'll be into uh, Santa Clara around 1.18 this afternoon. Uh, of course, that doesn't include stops or anything like that. So, really looking forward to it, and uh, I'll check in later. Hey, it's .NET Dave again. Uh, on my way to Silicon Valley Code Camp, and stuck in traffic in LA. What a surprise. Uh, I was going to take a different route to go around the traffic, but it was so good uh, earlier that I said, nah. Now, keep left. North. I'll take the normal route and now I'm stuck. So far I've lost about 30 minutes on my ETA. So check in later. Hey, it's Donna Dave again. Just stopped in the middle of California somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where I am. But I do know I'm about 116 miles from Santa Clara, uh, which is near the Sil Silicon Valley Code Camp, which I'm on my way to. So I'm looking forward to getting there soon, relaxing before the speaker's dinner tonight. On that day, I've arrived in Santa Clara at the Hyatt, staying at the Hyatt during my stay at Silicon Valley Code Camp. Really looking forward to Code Camp. It will be my first time speaking at Silicon Valley Code Camp. This is its fourth year. Uh, there's over 3,000 people registered for Code Camp. I'll be doing uh, three of my conference talks. I'll be doing my um, the NAD, my NAD framework talk, I'll be doing my coding standards talk, and I'll be doing my how to survive the technical interview talk. Really looking forward to that one because the last time I looked, there's over 117 people registered for that. So it should be a really great talk, lots of interaction, and it'll be really interesting. It'll be the first time I've done, well, any of these talks in Silicon Valley. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, starts tomorrow at 9.45. Hey, Dave. On my way to uh, Silicon Valley Code Camp, Saturday, first day, the only day I'm going really. Last time I checked, there's 147 people signed up for my How to Survive the Technical Interview session, so I'm very excited about that. Should be in a big room, have lots of great discussion. It's a chilly morning here in Santa Clara, and uh, on my way to Los Altos Hills, where the Foothill College is. So, overview, why do we need coding standards? So this is the first question I ask at every one of these talks I've been doing for six years. <laughs> My goal someday is not to do this talk anymore because of what I'm about to see. How many people here practice coding standards at their company or themselves? Okay, that's pretty good. Are you certain it's a good standards? Huh? Are you certain it's a good standards? My standards, in my book. <laughs> 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 Okay, how many enforce those standards via code reviews and things like that? For those of you who raise your hands. A little better. So, so not everybody does it. So I saw about six people. That's actually way better than I usually see. Usually if I get one or two hands up, I'm lucky. And uh, so one day I'm gonna come here and you're all gonna raise your hands and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm not doing this talk anymore. I'm tired of it, you know. Do it in six years now. So. Even though I, I change it up every day. Patients nowadays implicitly know how to get the data, and they really should. You know, the EXC or the website itself should have no idea how it's doing that. It should be done in some other tier, right? Hopefully, if you guys are programming correctly. The logic and the model are intertwined. Another issue with doing a, a coding like this. Um, conceptual mismatches and often encapsulates the data access layer in the application. Right? Should the app data layer be in the application? No. Right? Never ever be in the application. Right? Unless you're writing something for class.
Hey, this is .NET Dave. Uh, this is day two of Silicon Valley Code Camp. I'm not going to day two. I finished all my talks yesterday. Um, all my talks were, were either standing room only or my last talk probably had over 200 people and people were standing in the hallways. Every, all my talks went awesome. I had a great time. I met lots of people. Hopefully helped a lot of people too along the way. Uh, sold a lot of my books and DVDs. It was uh, one of the funnest code camps I've ever been to. Um, it was greatly organized, uh, thanks to Peter and his crew. 200 volunteers to, to uh, get this code camp going, and about 2,200 people showed up yesterday. That's just amazing to me how many people really, truly want to learn and keep their growth going in the software industry. So I'm headed back to San Diego. I'm going to take the coast and uh, get some photography done on the way back and uh, hopefully see some cool sights. So thank you. Thanks to everybody that came to my talks at CodeCamp.